in this video, I am going to showcase all 13 new accessories in Update 2 of King Legacy. But before that, shout out to my playmate Marga Warga and also shout out to Brandon Bra 1996537. Where the echo slam. Oh, there it is. Forward. Your slam. The Hello, Gamer Nom is back. So for today's video, I am going to showcase all 13 accessories. Finally, guys, we were able to unlock all 13 accessories. To be honest, it's not easy. Is it worth it? It's for you to decide, guys. So as you can see, here you go, 13 accessories. But before that, to show your support, you can use star code GamerNom in your next Robux purchase. Quick question, GamerNom, where can you get the accessories? So all the accessories are located in three areas. So to make it more organized, we are going to showcase them based on the area where you can get it. So let's just start. For the first area, we have the Golden Arena. So here you can get eight, yes, eight accessories. To make it short, guys, just finish it. Bring all your friends because you can only unlock the last one, the legendary accessory in the last wave. Is it worth it, Game Renown? Don't worry, I'm gonna showcase it and it is up to you to decide, okay? Okay, so first off, for our first accessory, we have the straw hat. Guys, if you're gonna ask me, this really looks so cool, well made. Shout out to the developers. It really looks good. There you go. For the stats, it will increase your HP, your health by 100 points, and also your fruit damage by 3%. So focus on the HP, as you can see, we have 41,100. Did you see that? It became 41,200. So it is working for the fruit damage. If you're not wearing the fruit, the damage is 5,760. And if you're wearing it, your damage will become 5,930. So again, the damage increased. For our next accessory, we have the black coat. Actually, there are four colors. We have the black, let's appreciate it first. Next, we have the blue, the green, and the red. For the stats, all the same. So we're just gonna showcase one color, there you go. Plus 250 health and plus 1% damage. As you can see here is the health, you see that? It increased by 250. But for the damage, sword. 2050 now it became 2070 not that high you see that guys when you say all damage it means fruit melee or sword okay i hope that's clear see that the fruit 5760 it became 5820 okay okay i hope that's clear so next for our sixth accessory we have the shoulder armor wow guys check the details it's so well made i really love the design so for the stats one percent health and two percent melee damage melee damage so the punch skills the fighting style again one percent your hp should decrease by 410 and that's just an estimate so for the physical damage 451 it became 460. so for the fight style melee users here is the accessory for you. Moving on for our seventh accessory, we have the Gladiator's Helmet. Again, let's appreciate it. Check the details. It really looks cool. For the stats, we have an increase in melee damage of 4% and melee damage reduced by 5%. So this is a lot better, but it is a rare type of accessory. Comparing it with the shoulder armor, the damage is 460, right? Here, your damage will become 469. So again, if you're a melee type user, fight style, again, this is better comparing it to the shoulder armor. Okay. The defense, it also increased. As you can see, the normal damage is 428. For our eighth accessory, we have the Admiral's Code. So for those aspiring admirals, here it is. This accessory is for the cosplayers out there. For the stats, this accessory increases your health by 5% and reduces all damage by 5%. Not bad, to be honest, if you want to be a tank type. Upon equipping it, my character's HP increased by 2000. It's kinda high, and the defense, see that? 451 is the usual damage, but now it became 428. The damage decreased not just for melee, also for fruit. There you go, you see that? 3300 is the damage with the item it became 3100 how about the sword here you go the sword the damage is 3890 
and with this accessory it is out 3700 so yes it is working so for our eighth accessory the night necklace guys this is a legendary necklace and you can unlock this in the wave 30 of the golden arena again this night necklace increases your sword damage by 10 percent yes guys 10 percent and aside from that it also reduces the damage of sword by five percent so let's check it out our initial damage is 2050 with the necklace it became 2250 200 increased damage note that i am using the tashi blade and we're not even using skills for the increased defense check it out 3890 if you're not using the necklace and if you're using the necklace the damage is 3700 gamer why is your damage lower because we're not using bisento if i use the bisento the damage is 4500 just to clear things out okay okay so next up is the biscuit shoulder and you can unlock this accessory in the loaf island he is located here you need to defeat biscuit until he drops it there you go he's wearing it so for the stats three percent increased sword damage well this is easier to get comparing it to the night necklace check it out 4100 but with the shoulder there you go it became 4200 not bad for our next accessory we have the blue scarf so where can you get it gamer gnome same loaf island here in this mirror you can find the mob here you go doe master how about the stats gamer gnome this is one of the most balanced and one of the best accessories for me this increases five percent fruit damage and reduce fruit damage by ten percent that's a lot guys so here we are for the damage without the scarf 5760 with the scarf it became 6000 again this is a good fruit for the fruit users for the increased defense check it out the damage is 6100 without the scarf with the scarf the damage is 5400 for the last accessory in this island the loaf island we have the epic flame hair super saiyan I'm just joking so guys where can you get it this is a boss drop, so it's, it is located here in the castle. Every 5 hours, this mob spawns, so there you go, you see that? Miss Mother, okay. 7,500 level. So for the stats, it increases your fruit damage by 7.5%. Stronger than the blue scarf, but no defense increase. So here you go. Initial damage, 5,760. If you equip it, 6,190. Okay, so that's it for all the accessories in the Loaf Island. For our last accessory, we have the Sea King's Jaw. So you can get this, obviously, from the Sea King. So the Sea King spawns every 1 to 2 hours. I'm not sure of that. So to make it faster, just do server hop. So there you go. It reduces Sea King damage by 20% and increases 2% of all damages. So here you go. Let's try it with... The Seeking Jaw, the damage is 4,100. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope that you enjoy this. I hope that you unlock all the accessories. And again, to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I appreciate you all. This is GamerNom, and GamerNom out.